Hey guys, good morning. I am just making some coffee. I'm going to have some coffee for breakfast and um, probably, I know I have strawberries. <clears throat> I'm kind of on the fence. Like, I don't know if I want to have oatmeal or if I want to have one of my bread thingies, we'll see. But I definitely have to have strawberries so they don't go bad too soon. Let me get my little box so I get balance you guys on there. <clears throat> there we go. This way you're a little bit more in view. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. So, um, so what time is it? It's like 8.30. I got ready for work pretty early. Um, usually it's not till like 9.30, but I figured when I have some extra time, I could just go curl up in bed with Hubs. He's already sleeping. So I wanted to kind of like get ready and get out of his hair. Um, ooh, it's already starting to get warm. At least that's, a, it's warm in here, at least the heater's on. Um, I wanted to get out of his hair so he could sleep because he, uh, he just got home like an hour ago. So I was like, you need to go lay down and go to sleep. So he showered and then he's, probably already knocked out. So I figured I'll just get ready for work early, come in here and this way he could sleep for a little bit and then I'll go bug him in like two hours. <laughs> Cause I don't have to leave my house till 1130 to go to work. I work one to seven. So it's kind of like, it's nice to leave the house later for work. Um, but yeah, Starla. I have been noticing that Starla likes to chew on things like she loves to bite on the tree she likes to chew on like like little random stuff and it's kind of worrying me because I don't want her eating it like I don't know if she just bites that stuff or is she or is she like eating it so I need to keep an eye on her because um I don't want her to get backed up so come here stars I'll have to uh, pay more attention to her poops. <laughs> Fun stuff. Fun times. Um, okay, so let me let me cut up some strawberries while we're talking here. While I wait for my uh, water to boil. Also, like if I wanted to, I could also scramble an egg, but I don't really feel I don't really feel like doing that. I just don't I really I don't feel like cooking cooking, you know. Oh, my water's on. Okay. So I gotta wash these. Always always wash your fruit before you eat it. Water is cold. Uh, let's do one more. Let 
This one's looking kind of nasty. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, behave. <laughs> Yesterday, you guys, I was pouring my water into my mug and I totally, like, I overdid it and it splashed all over my hand freaking hurt but luckily it wasn't like to the point of boiling so it didn't burn me but it was like it freaked me out <laughs> so that was fun <clears throat> I miss these mornings like I miss these mornings of doing my breakfast with you guys so it's kind of nice to do that Nice. Nice. Cup of coffee. So it's like these are the little bakery things that I bought. Sometimes it's nice to just have, I mean, I know they're not the healthiest thing in the world, but <laughs> sometimes it's just easy, especially like now that Hubs gets home early in the mornings and sometimes he gets home by 6.30 and I'm not cooking breakfast at 6.30. Like, I'm just like, I'm not hungry at that time. So <laughs> I, it's nice to have these things here just in case um, he wants to munch on something before like I initially get up. Like I'll cook breakfast around maybe eight, the earliest, but anything before that is just too early. It's too early for me, like then I'll, I'll be really like hungry before I even leave for work, you know? So, um, so it's kind of nice to have like those bread things here for him to just to grab so that he has something. And then like in another couple hours, then I'll make an actual breakfast. Like he can make his own breakfast too. Like I'm not saying that he waits on me to cook, but um, I do like to cook if we're both home. I do like to cook just once for the both of us, so <laughs> that's what I mean. But it's not, he's not like incompetent. Like it's not like he can't cook. Cause he can and he does. Okay. Okay. So, sitting on these lovely stools again. Um, I love this blouse. Like, it's funny, funny story you guys. So this gray blouse that I have, I've had this thing for years. I, like I think I'm getting sick I've been saying that in the last couple of videos but um like I feel a little bit congested in my chest so if you see me like <laughs> like taking big breaths it's because I feel like I have stuff clogged in my chest you know that feeling I hate that so um I that's why I'm like I feel like I'm like on the verge of getting sick but I'm not sick um, not yet at least and I hope I don't get sick, but we'll see um, but <laughs> So sorry, sorry for see me like like half of it is because you know, I'm out of breath like I'm a bigger girl I'm moving around but the other part is like my chest. I do feel like I have a little bit of congestion in here um, and luckily this morning knock on wood but luckily this morning I didn't have a major sneezing attack usually I do in the mornings because of the cat dander and just like it's just like my morning thing like that's I've always been like that since I was a little girl always had like my morning sneezes I don't know if any of you guys are like that and um so once I have like 12 sneezes then I'm good <laughs> and then of course it's like I gotta blow my nose and clear up all the congestion and so it's just annoying but this morning I didn't have that so that was kind of different um so what was I saying? Oh, the gray blouse. So this gray blouse I've had for a few years now, like probably like four, four years. I'm not even kidding you. Like maybe even more than that. Um, and it's, it's a plus size 
top, right? And I really like it because of the, like, I don't know what you call this. Like when the sleeves, they, it's supposed to drape a little bit, you know? And so back in the day when I got it, like four years ago, I was a little bit smaller than I am right now. I've always been plus size, but um, I put on weight since like four years ago at least. And, um, and so the blouse fit just a little bit differently. Like it had more of the bat wing, but now it's like my boobs are bigger and <laughs> there's more going on. Um, but I really liked it because it's a long sleeve, but it's real thin and funny story. So here's the funny part. I bought this at Target and I wasn't paying attention where I got it from. I was just like in the plus size area and I was like, oh, this is a cute gray little top. It's like kind of long so you can wear it with leggings. Um, and it has like sparkle in it. I don't know if you could tell, but it's like kind of lines and then it has like sparkle in the, in the seams. And so I was like, this is really, really cute blouse. And... <laughs> I got home and I'm taking the tags off and I realized it's a fucking maternity blouse. Like, <laughs> it's a maternity blouse. So, like, this part, obviously, for the belly, is it's for the belly. But because I'm plus size and because I carry most of my weight in my belly, I'm an apple-shaped plus size person, I guess is the correct term if you want to get technical with like the body shapes and stuff. I'm a, I'm an apple shape plus size. Like there's hourglass plus sizes. There's like the, the inverted triangle people who have the broader shoulders and they're smaller in the bottom. There's the pear shapes who have booty and they're smaller on top. The hourglass plus sizes are like the ones, those are like usually the models that you see on all the plus size catalogs um, where they have the tiny little waist and they have like the big boobies and the tiny waist and then they have like hips and booty. With, that's like probably the, the body shape that all of us plus size girls wish we had, so to speak. And then there's the, the glorious apple shapes, which are those of us who have most of our weight in our belly. We tend to have nice shapely legs um, and we have you know nice chest area. We're maybe a little bit smaller on top, which for me, um, I have big boobs and I tend to be a little bit smaller on top so I can usually get away with a smaller size on my shirts as long as it compensates for boobs. Um, but when it comes to the belly, it's just like, it's just, a, it's, a, it's a battle. It's a battle. So <laughs> I really like the way this top fit. And then when I looked at it, I was like, holy shit, it's a maternity top. Like that is so freaking funny. But it's not one of those maternity tops where you can tell that it's a maternity top. You know, sometimes they have like the weird waistbands and stuff like that. So I was able to just get away with it and I've worn it for four, four plus years ever since. And it, it's like, I get compliments on this top every once in a while. I find it comfortable because it's long sleeve and so I could wear it under a sweater or like a cardigan like I was earlier. And I don't get super hot, cause I run hot. I'm a hot person, like I run hot. Um, <laughs> if I'm really cold, then it's really fucking cold outside. But usually like I could get away with just a light throw sweater and I'm good for the day. But um, so it's I like this because it, I could still wear a long sleeve, but I don't feel like I'm suffocating. So that's just the funny story for this morning. <laughs> um, mm. So I was thinking about Vlogmas. Actually, I was watching Vlogmas videos on other people's channels and I think the theme, like, I think the, the whole theme of Vlogmas is that you do something Christmassy every video. And so I'm like, I'm not going to fucking do that. Like, <laughs> I don't know who wrote the rules, but I don't think I'm going to be able to obtain that because um, doing something Christmassy every day, that's a challenge. So maybe that's the whole point of Vlogmas. It's like you're filming a vlog or a video every day till Christmas, which is part of a challenge. But I guess if you really wanted to challenge yourself even more, then you can like film something Christmassy in your video. But I already put up the tree. I do have to put up my stockings, so that could be like one video for another day. But I'm just like, today probably the only Christmassy thing you're gonna see me do is maybe order a Starbucks in the drive-thru before I go to work. <laughs> and even then, I'm sometimes that weirdo that's ordering the cold drinks when it's fucking cold outside. Like that's just how I am. I love their um their iced waters, like their 
their refreshers. I love their green teas. And sometimes I just want something cold to drink while I'm at work, but we'll see. I already had my morning coffee, so I probably won't be craving another coffee. But we'll see what happens. <laughs> but other than that, I'm like, I don't really have anything Christmassy to show you guys or to film. So it is what it is. <laughs> Literally, like, it's a vlogmas. You guys are going to see a video a day, but sorry, I'm licking my fingers. Um, <laughs> um, you guys get to see a video a day, but it's not always going to be Christmas related. Mm. 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 I'm getting it all over this. I'm going to have to eat this after I'm off film because it's just too messy. I need a, I need a napkin. <laughs> so... As far as Christmas related stuff though, I guess we, we, I guess we could talk Christmas, even though I'm not gonna be doing anything Christmassy today. <laughs> I'm like putting the other, I'm like leaning one thigh <laughs> on one stool so that my ass could like fit on the other stool. Like I'm telling you guys, these stools are like real small. Well, at least compared to my butt, they're small. <laughs> anyway, it's good to laugh at yourself. We'll put it that way. Um. So, what was I saying? Oh, Christmas related, like, um, Christmas related plans this, this month. So, on the, <coughs> I think it's the 15th. I think it's the 15th. We have, me and my husband have plans to go to dinner with his friends and see his goddaughter. So, we're going to do that. And,. I think on the, oh, on the 21st, my hubby has his Christmas party for work. So we're going to go to that. <laughs> that one's going to be fun because it's at a casino on the way to Vegas. Literally, it's like a good 200, 200 mile, two hour drive from here. Who plans their Christmas party so far? I don't know. Obviously his department, but... It's at a casino. They're gonna do raffles. It's supposed to be really fun. So I'm looking forward to it. I have my ha my Halloween. <laughs> my Halloween. I have my Christmas dress. I'm really pleased with it. Um, it's very classy, long sleeve, so I'll be warm. But there's a little bit of booby <laughs> that comes out. So hopefully I won't be super self-conscious about my boobs because I'm usually a very modest person. Like I don't have like my boobs out all the time, but they do come out every once in a while. It's just, I'm not the girl that always has them out. So to me, when they do come out, I'm very aware that they are out, <laughs> but I love the dress. It's very classy. It's like, it's velvet. It's black. It's velvet. It has long sleeves. It has like a little puff at the tops here. Um, and it's ruched. So it's like, it's forgiving on my belly and it's forgiving on my ass. So like, it actually gives me a little bit of a booty, which is nice because I don't really have a booty. I just, it, I have a booty, but I don't have like a booty, you know? <laughs> so, um, and I'm wearing flats with it because this girl can't walk in heels. I trip on air. Um, so flats is safe and I have really cute super pointy toe faux leather flat sling back flats and i'm gonna wear those with the dress most likely so super excited it's gonna look good i just need to get myself like a little purse like a little clutch or something maybe preferably like a red color and then i have like a grandma red cardigan the one i was this one over here <laughs> that i'll probably throw on or i have to i should actually probably and give it another good washing because I don't want it to like rub off on the velvet. That would suck. So I better do that or just wear the black one that I have. Um, but like I said, it's long sleeve velvet. So it's like warm. I don't think I'm going to need another jacket, but we'll see. So it's a very sexy dress, but classy. Um, it's forgiving on me. So... The only thing is his boobs, <laughs> but whatever. They gotta come out sometime. Um, 
so yeah <clears throat> so we're doing that on the 21st and then my husband has Christmas Eve off and he works Christmas night so we're most likely going to if we go to any festivities which that's a big if because I don't know if he wants to um to be honest I don't I don't want to be in traffic um I saw the nightmare that everyone had to go through just to get to our house for Thanksgiving so I'm like I don't really want to sit in traffic on Christmas Eve even though they they celebrate at his mom's house Christmas Eve and she makes like her homemade tamales and it's fucking bomb but um I don't know unless we go early and like just stay all day there and then drive back that night but I don't know I don't know what he wants to do I'm kind of leaving it up to him because he's the one that has to work the following night and he's the one that had to work the night before Christmas Eve so he would be coming home Christmas Eve morning and so obviously he needs to get his sleep in <clears throat> so it's up to him I don't I don't I'm not gonna force it on him I would prefer to just stay home and do an us thing like just me him and the cats um, and I told him like, I may not be able to make you homemade tamales, but maybe your mom can send some home with me like the day or two before when I'm at work. So we'll see. <laughs> That's wishful thinking, but I told him I'll make something else. Like I can make a roast in the crock pot. Mm, so the whole house smells amazing. That sounds delicious. So we'll see. We'll see what he wants to do. I told him we go see your family any day. My parents aren't going to do anything. They'll probably do stuff with church. So I was like, you guys, could, you could see your parents any day. It's not like we have to go see them on Christmas Eve. We don't live that far away. Oh, there's just something about hot coffee in the morning. So yeah, and um, what else? <laughs> mm. What else was I going to talk about? Um, so I don't know if you guys caught my live yesterday on Instagram. I deleted it though. Like I didn't keep it up for that long because I was like, <clears throat> I didn't want to be petty. But if you caught my live, you'll know what was on my mind last night. So those of you guys who don't know, um, I'm not going to get into it because I don't want to bring up shit. But... I had to like, I had like a reality check yesterday and I had to verbalize it. I felt better after I verbalized it. I, it, it that's one thing I always encourage you guys to do is like talk it out. When you talk it out out loud, whether you're talking to somebody or you're just talking to yourself, but when you verbalize something that's bothering you, it helps to put it into a perspective that maybe you wouldn't see had you not done it. So by me going on live and like expressing some stuff that was on my mind, I was able to, you know, come to terms with what it was and let it go. And that's what I did. Even on my live, like I literally lit sage and I was like, just letting it go. And it felt so much better. So, um, I encourage you guys to do that. If you, if you watched, if you were able to watch the live and you, you know what I'm talking about, I encourage you guys to let go, do the practice of, Setting things, people, memories, um, shit that just like you, you hold in, grudges, you know, anything that just pisses you off. Doing the practice of letting it go because, is that something on my eyebrow? Oh my God. It's probably there the whole video. Watch. <laughs> I have a piece of my, uh... <laughs> that would be really funny if it was on, if it's on the whole time. Anyways, um... The practice of letting go, setting free, not holding stuff within you, you know? So if you guys are like some, if you're somebody that holds grudges, I highly encourage you to let that shit go. Um, because the way I see it, um, sorry. <laughs> the way I see it is like when I'm in meditation, and when I'm like doing my readings, my energy readings for you guys, where I'm like looking at your aura, I know how crazy that sounds, but just bear with me. So when I'm like seeing your aura in my mind's eye, I see things like big, massive holes. Okay. So sometimes people have big ones or sometimes people have little pinpricks, right? Or um, they just have like these big manchas in their aura. 
And so to me, that's a symbol of negative energy that has been hovering that you've just been withholding. Um, it's, it's like a, it's a gaping hole or a void in your life. And it's just like physically manifested, or I guess you could say energetically manifested within you. Right. And that's why, that's why we go get Reiki healings. That's why we go get energy healings or crystal healings, because the whole idea of that practice healing that energetic space within you it's supposed to, you know, take that stuff away. But if you're going to go right back, like let's say you go get an energy healing and then you go right back to holding grudges or hating on a certain person or um, going back in time and, and remembering that one thing that you just can't let go of, you're only creating another mancha in your aura. You know what I mean? So, so last night when I was having my live, I was in my, in the back of my mind when I was talking to you guys about what it was that was bugging me. Um, I was thinking I need to release this because this is something that can I can hold with me. This is this is this is something that I need to set free because if I don't, it's just gonna piss me off every single time I think about it. And it's just not worth it. It's not worth it. So um, I wanted to make sure I mentioned that in a video to let it go. <laughs> so I think I'm going to make a separate video for that um, just for the sake of YouTube and like having something else on my, con on my content. But I think if you guys would like to see a video of different ways that you can energetically heal yourself from stuff let me know and I would love to do a video like that for you because those are practices that I like to do. Um, and I think it would be very beneficial for people who are going through shit that they just can't shake, you know? Shit you can't shake. <laughs> so let me know if you wanna see a video like that and I will put one together. I'll probably put one together regardless if you whether you wanna see it or not, but <laughs> it's just something else to add. So anyways, I'm going to finish my breakfast um, and we'll see. I may or may not make this the end of the vlog. I may wait and see, do a couple little things before I add it. So if you guys don't see a vlog posted until later tonight, it's because I'm trying to make it fancy schmancy for you guys. But this is already 20 minutes long. So I'm going to go ahead, head out, eat my food. And I got to film the energy weekly energy reading because I totally forgot to do it yesterday. So I'm going to go do that now. So. See you guys in a little bit.